What's up guys, welcome back to Catching Chains. Today, I'm gonna be doing a disc die on a disc that I got specifically for my wife. I'm gonna be doing the Latitude 64 Diamond for her. It is, it even says right on it, easy to use driver. It's recommended by a lot of people for beginners, people with lower arm speeds, and she's just starting to learn disc golf. So this is a really good disc for her to start out with and try to throw pretty far and kind of learn backhand as well. So I'm really excited for her to use this. She gave me kind of a pattern that she wanted um, and I'm just going to be trying to do that the best I can using the color she wants. She wants some pink, yellow, and then two different shades of blue, which I'm putting on right now. I'm kind of just putting my colors in different splotches around each other right now. And I'm gonna be doing some blowing with this straw here to kind of shape that exactly how I want it. So it's not gonna just be all splotchy and stuff, even though it looks like that now. You'll kind of see as these colors spread out and as I move them around, how I can get some different cool patterns and swirls in the, uh, in the bed itself here. So right here, I kind of have a quote unquote black rift line down the middle. It's black in parentheses and you'll see why in a little bit. I did use black dye, but uh, I'll just let the final work speak for itself when we get there. But here I am, I'm just using my straw from Culver's, shout out, not a sponsor, to just blow this dye around a little bit and get some cool patterns. So I'm just gonna stop talking now and kinda let you watch the work form itself here. Okay, one last thing. I'm really trying to tighten up this black line here so it doesn't seep in with the other colors. Cause last time I used black on a disc, it kind of turned everything a way darker color than I wanted it. So I'm really trying to keep all the black together in a tight line, so yeah. Here I'm just adding some more colors to work with because I didn't really like exactly how things were shaping up and I wanted just a little bit more of each color to be able to blow around so that it's not just uh, some white space in the middle. I want the full disc to be covered with colors all around. Whoops, don't worry about it. So now that I have blown the die around kind of to where I want it, I'm just adding some extra swirls in here with a little stirring utensil. I'm just using a pencil, but I'm hoping to get a little bit more out of the pattern with just some small circles to create some little swirls. Hopefully this detail is going to carry over onto the disc when I put it in there. Alright, it's time for the most nerve-wracking part. We're going to put the disc in the glue bed mixture and I'm being very careful to roll it into the die to avoid air bubbles. We're just going to push it in there a little bit, let it sit. 24 hours later, I'm going to scrape off some of that glue, see what happens. 
All right, and look what happened to that black. It actually turned green. I think there could be one of two reasons for this. Uh, the first reason is that every black dye is actually just either a really dark red, really dark blue, or really dark green or purple, I think. I don't know. So it every, and it didn't really show up very well on an opaque disc. I don't know. Also, I mixed a little bit of yellow with it, so I think that could be some of the reasons for it. I was not expecting so, that. So, yeah, I don't really know what to say about why that turned out green. I definitely used black, black dye, but it still looks really cool. I'm happy with it. Yes. We're just going to wash this off here, and this is the Latitude 64 that I dyed for my wife. I hope you guys like this video. Please consider subscribing, and we'll see you back here. Thanks for watching.